I'll, uh, I'll read what I have here is for overdose prevention, so to prevent an overdose. Uh, yeah. The if, if you use drugs purchased from illegal market, where else do you get it? Right? That's, that, that's, that's what I was told. If you buy from an illegal market, this is what you need to do. Um, know your health status. Know your, your tolerance. Famous last words, I, I helped out at an overdose prevention site here in the city, and the famous last words for probably 80% of the overdoses is, I have a high tolerance. And with fentanyl, there is no high tolerance. Your tolerance might have been good yesterday, but it's not going to be good today. Uh, don't use alone. That should be obvious, right? Use with somebody. But if you are going to use alone and you're in your room, leave the door unlocked and ask someone to help you out, right? Come check on you. Uh, taste your drugs. You can always do more, you can never do less, right? So make sure, always, always try your dope first. See, what, um, see what's working and what's not. I don't know what to say, folks. I've, uh, I've been to many of, these, many of these outings, and it seems like the message is always the same. And I'm getting, it's, it's like a broken record. How many times do we have to keep screaming and hollering and asking people to help us before they actually get off their asses and, and do something that's productive, that's gonna, that's gonna actually help us? Um, the scariest thing in the world is having to bring your loved one back to life. And I don't want to do that anymore. All right? It's uh, it's getting it's getting so that I can't I can't live my life. Every time I turn around, I'm playing Russian roulette, and the the gun's fully loaded. All right? There's no blanks in there. It's it's foolish the way it's going on. We gotta be careful. We gotta hold the government accountable for what, what they're doing and what they're not doing. Uh, a prime example of the government willingly willingly giving over and knowing that they're doing wrong, but letting us letting us uh, letting us die anyway. I don't know if you remember or not with the methadose, with the methadone when it turned into methadose. They, no word. Nobody knew nothing. They didn't tell us. They didn't tell anybody that they were switching this new drug. They didn't come down to the east side or go to the pharmacies and let anybody know that this is what they were going to do. And it ended up, if my stats are right, two-thirds of the people that were on methadone to stay off of street drugs ended up in a relapse. And some are currently still using because of that change. We gotta, we gotta let them know that we can't stand for that anymore. We need to have people tell us what they're gonna do, when they're gonna do it. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I don't know if my words are getting through or not. It's um, I can't. Uh, I can't, I can't live every day with the same things happening every day, day after day. People coming in and asking me what to do because they, they're feeling suicidal because they don't want to go back to street drugs, but their doctor won't help them out with their prescription. Won't give them pain pills, won't give them, so if you're on methadone, you're not allowed to have any other pain, right? You might as well just give out now because if you break your leg, methadone will have to cover that. If you have surgery, the method will have to cover you that. I'll tell you a story. I went in. I went in for major surgery. I had half my bowel and half my lower intestines removed. When I, when I left the hospital, I went across the street to my doctor, who I've known for a while. Well, he's not my doctor. He's, he's a, a doctor that works in the same office as my doctor. And uh, I had stitches. They went from here to here. Staples still in it. And I said, Doc, I got to the, the hospital yesterday. I checked myself out so I didn't have time to stop and get any pain pills. Can you help me out? His exact words were, no. Yeah, no. I know I say his exact words I know because I expected some other words. To get just a flat out no, and then when I asked why, he said because your, your other medication 
you're, you're, you're wired to your other drugs, so you don't need any more. I damn near draw. I damn near fell over. It was, you know, you know the doctor's doing something wrong, and he's he's not doing the best his care for you. When the receptionist comes out and says, "Here, Martin, go see this doctor. He'll he'll help you." When you get a, when you get a second opinion, a referral to another doctor from the doctor's receptionist, they, that's that says something to me, right? She must see that day after day after day after day. The doctor knowingly and willingly telling people that he's not going to help them with their pain meds. When you say right to them, well, if I don't get them from you, I'm going to buy them on the street. And all he does is shrug his shoulders and says, good luck with that. Well, I don't need bucks. I need pain meds. Um, have somebody regulate these drugs, right? It doesn't, take, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out what needs to be done. 20 years ago, they were saying the same thing then. And they've been telling them for 20 years, probably every day, I'm hoping someone's hearing it every day. Um, it's, it's, it's sad that the only thing we can do is wait for someone our age or someone that's in this generation to get into office, right? Because that's what it's gonna take. I, it's nothing short of that's gonna do it. Because nobody, nobody in that, nobody from the old days that's working in government now wants to say, oh shit, I was wrong, right? You won't, you won't hear the government say that. I never have. I was wrong. And until they're willing to either admit they were wrong or someone steps up and says, listen, my forefathers were wrong, right? This is what we're going to do. People are going to keep dying. Uh, they need to check their kids. They need to look at their kids' dressing room, right? At their... At their uh, at their dresser, open their kids' drawers and find the drugs that are in there and ask themselves how long it's going to be before one of their kids, you know, ends up in the grave because of their use. And, uh, heaven forbid if it's one of mine, right? Well, um, how do I leave you? How do I walk away? It's like, it's like, it's like when I'm at work. I don't know. I don't know how long I need to talk to somebody before I, I haven't figured out that they're going to be all right. That they're not going to walk out the street and go grab something off the street that they shouldn't have, and then and end up. I'm going to end up at their memorial instead of standing in front of them trying to help them out to, to, to what they can do. Uh, I don't. I don't want to talk anymore about this. I've been talking. It seems like everybody's been talking for well, well over 20 years now, right? If they, don't, if they haven't heard us over 20 years, I don't know what, what's my voice going to do. It's going to do a lot, right? Because right? we're going to get a lot of voices together. We're going to get people with my voice and louder. And we're going to scream and holler. And we're going to tell them. But Justin Trudeau, his exact words, I have too much on my plate trying to legalize marijuana to deal with any other drugs. Yay. To deal with any other drugs. Okay. It's very simple. Wrap it in with the pot, right? Make the same regulations on it. Put the same, put the same stipulations. You're gonna, you're gonna keep track of the pot. You already are. They can't tell me they don't know how many times I've been in the store, right? And bought my pot. It's no different. It's, it's no different. What's it? It's a stronger drug. Who cares? It's my life. Stop telling me that I'm, I'm the one that's doing it to myself. I've been told that too, Martin. You're doing it to yourself. You know the bad drugs are out there. Why do you keep using them? Because it's my life and I want to. How about because I don't get the care I need from you, so I have to go someplace else to get it? All right? How about I've been using it since I was 12 years old. It's my lifestyle, and that's how I, I just how I plan to spend the rest of my life. All right? It's not up to you. I don't tell you not to have your coffee first thing in the morning. Please, please don't tell me I'm not allowed to drink. I'm not allowed to have a shot or do this, smoke some rock or do a line of coke before I get up in the morning. All right? I need my stimulant the same as you do. I need my down through the day, right? And, uh... Have a good one. Thank you. Oh, wow. I don't know. Know this, though. I do love each and every one of you. And I really hope to see each and every one of you every day for a very long time. With that, thanks. All my relations.